Tanzania is one of the countries in which the African Humanities Program distributes fellowship for dissertations and postgraduate research. We asked several faculty members at the University of Dar es Salaam how they remember the situation of the humanities before AHP began its fellowships. What difference has AHP made in their careers and the life of the community? Coming of the AHP coincided with the creation of the College of Humanities here at the University of Dar es Salaam as a result of a split uh, of the former College of uh, Arts and Social Sciences into College of Humanities and College of Social Sciences. Uh, as a principal of the College of Humanities, I've gone through a time when uh, the political world uh, and the academic world, I can say, looked at humanities as uh, a collection of disciplines that are useless to the development of human being. Uh, the coming of the HP, I must say, uh, reinvigorated um, the initial stages of the growth of the college to try and uh, bring about uh, its self-actualization, self-understanding. The HP played a major role in kick-starting the new college. We have seen actually in the last a uh, few years uh, that a lot more young people having uh, getting the revival uh, of their spirit. There has been some progress in terms of getting more people to participate in the program, uh, more people to get uh, support from the funding, and uh, a number of people have actually received the, or acquired their PhDs uh, through the program. But now with uh, the HP and its influence, I think people are more confident. I would say very strongly that now people know that humanities uh, disciplines are uh, just as good as any. There is a large number of scholars who completed their PhD and others received the postdoctoral and uh, AHP program and for sure this program helped them much because most of them graduated on time and the same people managed to publish papers as a result of the help from AHP. The groundbreaking uh, area that I can see is the uh, quick uh, completion uh, of dissertation. Uh, we used to, to witness uh, people staying up to seven, eight, up to ten years uh, as PhD uh, students, but uh, that is becoming less and less. I think this is very impressive. People are going into new areas, new approaches, and coming up with new findings. Uh, they may use the theories from elsewhere, from the West. But the research is usually quite original. Uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, with the influence of the AHP, there has been an emphasis on um, the humanistic element of historical science. There is emphasis on uh, human experience. focus on uh, arts and, and identities uh, ha has been one of the, the, the main trend that scholars in my department have been focusing and the identities here include gender, include uh, uh, youth identities uh, and some people have also discussed issues on, on arts and, 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 and race. There is or there has been a lot of variety in the research disciplines and topics, like the ones on, in archaeology, people looking at the interface between the people and their culture and the archaeological research. I, from my experience here, yeah, I know of, of the creative arts department, for sure. I know the number of people who were, were involved, who got the um, fellowship. 
a number of people who are, uh, whose dissertations were supported, and I know the, uh, the, the amount of scholarship within the department that has been strengthened, that has um, arisen uh, from the inspiration, inspirations coming from the AHP program. Especially with uh, the kind of uh, seminars that we have been holding in HP, where we engage uh, senior scholars uh, interacting with young scholars. Uh, perhaps one of the, the main advice that I, I really remember about uh, receiving from AHP mentors was uh, the way I should engage with, with the, the theories I read. Uh, in the early uh, days in my proposals, it seemed that uh, I took the theories from the literature religiously with uh, or, or belief about their truth. Uh, without making my voice being heard in, uh, in conversation with that, with that literature. Since then I have been making uh, efforts to, to, to get my voice out and, and engage with, that, uh, th with those theories actively. Uh, and this is the advice I've been also giving to my uh, postgraduate students. Well, Definitely uh, what I've seen uh, coming from AHP is much greater in terms of mentoring than anything I've known before. AHP is uh, doing, uh, by far doing much better in terms of mentoring, in terms of numbers of people involved in mentoring, uh, intensity of the work, uh, even the planning process. I see a, a, a great improvement, greater voices of Africans, a firm expression of Africanness, and confidence in Africanness uh, uh, within scholarships. New themes coming in, uh, putting emphasis on African, uh, African people's experience. I, I have seen that. Uh, it's, it, it is quite visible. 